It is uh, time for us to continue focusing on facts, not fear this morning, especially when it comes to COVID-19. This morning we are joined by Dr. Bob Lutz, who's been answering questions all morning long. Some of the questions <laughs> we have, some of the questions you have. Dr. Lutz, thank you very much sure. for joining us this morning. Tell us sort of what is the, uh, your initial take on some, like what the questions are like. What are sort of the common questions people have about the coronavirus just in general this morning? I think it's just that, Josh. If people are not sure what the virus is like, what the symptoms are like, how would they know if they have coronavirus versus a cold or other symptoms? Concerned about family members, about family members traveling, about trips. Should we be traveling within the United States? Should we be traveling outside the United States? So it's a little bit of the symptoms and then what should we be doing about them? Now, there are also some people you mentioned travel. You know, we've asked several times on Up With Crim about whether people who are watching feel like they shouldn't travel with this sort of situation going on. Some people saying, I feel like I have a strong immune system and I'm not worried about it. But that's not really the big issue is it's bringing it back, right? Well, I'd say it's both, actually. I mean, for example, right now we know that there are five countries where travel advisories are in place. China, Japan, South Korea, Iran, and um, Italy. Mm -hmm. And so the CDC is now currently recommending that not only people coming from those countries, but people from the United States should be concerned about going to those countries because it's spreading. So I think, you know, going to foreign countries, one thing, if you're going someplace else, and, and we see it spreading throughout much of Europe. So again, I think people have to be cautious and looking at travel, travel considerations. If they wanna go to places where they may be exposed to this, then they may give consideration to not going. And uh, just, I know you've been answering questions all morning long. Are there any kind of, that kind of stand out that you've been able to answer this morning that maybe touches on something we haven't addressed so far yet this morning? Maybe questions about any specific symptoms, maybe questions about uh, people, what is the process like of self, you know, putting yourself away, isolating yourself, quarantining yourself? I mean, I think there was a couple questions around, for example, should I be concerned about family members, but should I be concerned about, for example, surgery? If I have surgery that's coming up in a couple mm -hmm. of weeks, in a couple of months, should I be concerned about that? And I would say no. I think, you know, concerns that are about the local issue is not right now something that I think people should be concerned about. But again, I think that because of the fact that this virus is spreading worldwide and the CDC has said that it is inevitable that we will see it in the United States, people should just be cautious and monitoring. And I think we have time for one more question. Yeah. I'm, I'm curious, y you, we learn about new viruses all the time. What's the progress been like in kind of being able to actually learn a little bit more about this virus globally, nationally, at whatever level that you'd like to reference? I know we're learning more, right? Yeah, and I think it's fascinating, obviously, with genetics and being able to understand how this virus, I mean, the fact that they were able to actually identify this virus as quickly as they did has given us and science a real sort of fast track on being able to know how to treat it. You know, again, I don't think we're gonna see a vaccine in the near future, mm -hmm. but I think that we are much further ahead in being able to work with this virus than what we saw, for example, with the SARS virus. All right, Dr. Lutz is gonna continue to join us this morning. More questions have been popping up on the screen. He's gonna answer them uh, as we head into a break right now. He'll be back to answer more of your questions in just a little bit on Up With Cran.